But I would put HIV still as a major threat of the big infectious diseases. Um, uh, TB, we have XDR and MDR TB. These are the virulent, very resistant forms of TB. They're growing. They're, they grow in number because of, because of resistance, and they grow in number because of the failure to treat and diagnose and detect uh, that population. And, and, um, and this problem of resistance, this problem of the constant evolution of the pathogen against the treatment is, of course, a problem that we face across a spectrum of threats, right? We don't yet have a vaccine for HIV. We do know that, uh, that the antiretroviral therapy uh, that, has, that has extended the lives of, of 6.6 .6 million people, um, we know that resistance develops to that. And that is an, an inherent threat to the effectiveness of the response and our ability to. We know that um, the uh, malarial mosquito evolves against the, 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 the therapies and that uh, we could see, if we're very unlucky, uh, we could see the effectiveness of the, of the current artemisin therapies decline over time and we've got to be thinking ahead, strategically ahead. We're always going to have other threats out there that we don't know where they're coming from or what they're going to look like. Um, you know, we've, ha we've had the SARS, we have the Marburg and the Ebola, we, we, we've, we've had the H1N1, H5N1. Um, we're going to see more of that. We're going to have to uh, be um, uh, very reactive uh, and very fast to uh, responding.